Hello, in this tutorial, we're going to convert this direct admin server from using CentOS 8 to Cloud Linux 8. This process also works if you're using CentOS 7 to convert to Cloud Linux 7. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is make an SSH connection to our direct admin server. And then we want to install the Cloud Linux repo. I'll put this command in the notes section below this video. And then once done, we just need to install Cloud Linux. If you've been sent a license key, you would run the shcl deploy hyphen k, k is the meaning key, and then just enter your license key after it. If you've got an IP address license like we have, just put hyphen i for IP address and then press enter. This will then start the process in the background, as you can see, to install Cloud Linux. This process can take up to 30 minutes. Once this process is complete, type reboot. This will then reboot your server. Wait a few minutes before trying again. Okay, so the next step is to go back to the direct admin interface and log in using the admin login details. Make sure the access level in the top corner is set to admin. So we'll go to extra features. I'm going to go to this new menu called Cloud Linux LVE Manager. So we're getting a error saying it's a restricted area and we just need to add our admin username to be able to access this plugin. And then go back to our SSH connection to the server and run the command. And now we've got the wizard. So we're going to go to start wizard. We want to install KHFS. So you just select the box next to install and then enable these two options. Install Lightspeed API. This will give us a better performance on PHP. Okay, so we're going to have to do that through the custom build tool, which is fine. We we'll install MySQL Governor. And then if you want to enable Node.js, Python, you could do that too. And then we'll install the PHP selector. And then select all versions of PHP that you want to offer your customers. We'll just select all. And then go to enable selector. Click finish and install. you'll see in the top corner, we have the message installing. This process can take up to 30 minutes. And if you scroll down, we could just see what it is doing. So at the moment it's just on KHFS and then the other features are queued. If you run into an error like this, MySQL governor installation failed, this will be because the server is running a version of MySQL or MariaDB that isn't supported by Cloud Linux. If this happens, just click cancel. And then it will cancel the MySQL governor and it will continue installing the rest of the components. Once everything's installed, go back up to the top and then go to extra features, custom build. And then we want to go to the edit options tab at the top. And what we want to do with the PHP 2, 3 and 4, we just want to set them to no. And I'll show you why. Okay, one's done, we just saved that. So the reason why we just made those changes to the PHP release versions 
is so that there isn't two PHP selectors showing inside of your customer's control panel because you've got your Cloud Linux one and then these the native one, direct admin, and we only want to use the Cloud Linux one. So go back to extra features and reopen LVE manager. And then from the menu at the top, go to selector. Okay, so you wanna make sure the selector is enabled. The default version, change from native to the version of PHP that you want to be default and let's select 7.4 and agree to that. And then let's give it a moment to update. And then I'm going to uncheck native. So what we're doing here is we're forced to only ever use Cloud Linux as PHP. And then below you've got your default modules, which you could set for each version. Customers can enable modules themselves, but if these particular feature you get asked for all the time and you just want to enable it for everyone, this is the place where you do it. So for example, let's say we want to, to enable OP cache, we'll just tick this little box here and then save. If you want to do it for other versions, just go through the list here. And then I'll show you what this looks like for customers. So we'll just log into this demo account that I created. So for a customer to make PHP version changes, that'd go to extra features, select PHP version. And it's set to 7.4. And then we could change that. So if you wanted 5.6, for example, they could select that and then they could tick off the features that they need on top of the default ones. And then when they're ready, click set as current. And this would then set their account to use this version of PHP. So let's go back to admin. So log out here and then make sure the access level is set back to admin. So some other things in Cloud Linux. So we go back to our LVE manager. And then from the menu, if we go to packages, if we want to add different limits for hosting plans, you do this here. So for example, I've got the package called new package, which is owned by admin, and I can edit that plan. So this could maybe include two gigabyte of RAM, for example, or maybe this is a different plan, like plan two, plan three, plan four, and you can just increase these limits. And it's a way of upselling bigger packages to your customers. Um, all packages will use the default unless you override them here. To edit the default, you would assume you click edit, but it, you don't do that here. You actually have to do the default one on users. So if we head over to the users tab at the top, and then you'll see in caps, you've got default. This is where you make the changes. So click edit. And then these are the default limits, which are pretty good for a shared hosting environment. This is the end of the tutorial, and I hope you found this video useful. Please view our other videos to learn how to do additional things in Direct Admin, such as since installing Let's Encrypt and guides to migrate from cPanel to Direct Admin.